My name's Thomas, uh, Thomas Spangler. I'm the CTO of Decoin. Yeah, how'd you, get, how'd you get here? How'd you get here? Man? It was a little bit of luck, actually. It was a stroke of luck and kind of at the right place at the right time. It was, it's a good story. Um, so I've always been a techie. I, was, I mean, I, was, I started programming when I was like 15 years old and Pascal and Python and all those things. You know, my dad was part of Homeland Security, cyber assets and stuff. It's run, it runs in my blood, just working on computers, geek mode, you know? So, um, I decided, well, you know, it's time for a change. I'm going to do something different now. Yeah. And I decided to get licensed in real estate. I was like, it's America. I can do what I want. I can pick whatever career path I want. I'm going to this. I'm going to see if this is going to be a thing now. So I decided to go get licensed as a realtor. Um, passed with flying colors and started looking around for good brokerages to work uh, for. Uh, and I found Momentum Realty. And as soon as I started here, uh, I realized that this Momentum Realty wasn't in the average brokerage. I met Matt, I met Charles right there off the bat, and right. I was like, wow, these guys are really cool. They're sharp, they seem very, very smart. You know, uh, So I guess I'm gonna, I think this is a good place. It's a good place to be. You know, Not even two weeks later, I get sucked into this, sucked right back into the tech scene. By the way, we're doing this, and you know how to do Python? Are you a Python program? What the heck are you doing real estate for? <laughs> So I, we just, we, uh, it was, that was the birth of Decoin. It was about two, one to two weeks after I even, I literally walked into the office to, uh, oh, wow. uh become an agent here. Uh, and, um, oh, so they kind of picked you out. They're like, oh, look at this guy. It's on his resume. Did you, did you put down your resume or did they just, I don't yeah. know. Was that there? You saw those. You had no idea. Yeah. yeah no I had idea. no surprise. idea. <laughs> it was a surprise. That's cool. Yeah. So, um, we, uh, we just began. Uh, we had a, we had a really good idea, and we ran with it. And we thought, and since we were all real estate agents and licensed, um, we explored that field and realized that there was problems with the field. You know, I'm sure I'm sure Charles talked about uh, the problems in the real estate industry right now with the centralization with the NAR and how they're just <laughs> buying all this information, reselling it back to the people that just you know gave them the information in the first place. You know, it's just kind of like a it's a it's a broken system almost. Right. You know. Um, so we wanted to figure out a way to fix it. Uh, we're all tech people. We're familiar with blockchain technology. It was a good avenue. It was a very good avenue, and we came up, and that was that's when it was born. Um, my responsibilities at the very beginning were to create the prototypes. I'm responsible for the first prototype of Decoin HQ and the first contract, you know, and the first um, uh, the infrastructure and how how the system would work, you know, in the very in the back end. Uh, we grabbed a couple more uh, developers uh, to help. With the develop with the uh, tech development, the blockchain, because blockchain was still somewhat of a newer thing for me. I mean, I I dealt with bit uh, Bitcoin a lot when it was first like kind of thing. I, I remember getting into Bitcoin when it was about four hundred dollars a piece. That's when I that's about right when I got into Bitcoin. So I had a little bit of experience with Bitcoin and, and encryption and all that good stuff. I was like, all right, well I know about this. I mean, I've been a programmer. I'm familiar with it. I didn't like ex you know go out and specifically study this, you know. But over the past several years, while we have been developing these tech projects here out of this office. Um, I've gone from being a Python web developer to straight up blockchain developer. You know, the language programming languages. If anyone knows a programming language, programming languages are once you learn one core programming language, a lot of them are very they're, they're similar. You just got to learn the difference, this, the this new syntax. It's right, all it's all it really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, and uh, that's what's what that's what we did. We built it from the ground up uh, and uh, built a working platform, and then moved on to the next step, you know? So it was a lot of hard work. Are you guys eventually going to also make your own pathway to be a native blockchain eventually? It's something we've, well, it's, we're discussing it. We're discussing it's up in the air and we're trying to figure out the best, uh, our best option in that regard. You know, building a blockchain is a lot m more in depth than building a token. Right, right. You know, um, it is possible. I, I am, I've gotten my feet wet enough in encryption technology and all the mm -hmm. key pairing and stuff to know how to do it, mm -hmm. but it just takes a, it's a lot, lot of development of, hours, yeah. a lot of development hours. Um, so it, it, the, the first step I think to get there is to, um, upgrade our protocols right now. We're looking at, uh, currently we're on ERC two, two, three protocol, the Ethereum, mm -hmm. the Ethereum network. We started on ERC 20 and ERC 20 has got, you know, it's got pros and cons and we decided we're going to upgrade to the two, two, three contract recently. Uh, semi recently um it's a uh, it's better technology it's better protocol or better standard rather um and we've discovered another protocol or another standard that actually might even be better uh 721 well, that was the, the the one that crypto kitties use to right, right, you yeah. know hold all their information on the blockchain you know mm -hmm. 
So we want to be able to hold identities and, and verifying information stuff, basically MLS on the blockchain. That's our next step. You know, and 721 will facilitate that. Uh, the next year or two uh, would, will tell us, uh, we're, we're waiting for the next uh, uh, year, the next few months to a year to really make a, 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 a calculated decision on whether we want to go down that path or actually make our own native chain. So it's something we're going to decide in the, in the near future. So I see you guys like like we were out there earlier um, have like expanded your team. Tell me some of the things you guys have like you know on the back end developer end on, on your app on the website like how how is that you know functioning for Decoin right now? Um, well, the back end is uh, is there. That's really all of it. I mean, the back end. There's a lot of back end that goes on for this much front end. There's always like this much back end. You know, um, our front end is uh, we have currently we have uh, we have the Decoin platform. Uh, well, actually, we, we showed you guys that a little while ago, just a little tour, a little, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. little, uh, little, little commercial, <laughs> you know. Um, we have our launch platform. It's basically just a landing site for our, for our, uh, for our token raise, you know. Um, and then uh, we just recently upgraded from our, our original HQ. This is what we started on was the original decoinhq.com platform. It's our original domain name that we wanted to uh, develop as the platform for people to come uh, purchase tokens and use those tokens to redeem for uh in exchange for real estate commissions. Um, and we, we decided we wanted to upgrade that. We went to decoin.com, made a whole new platform, upgraded like HQ 2.0, you know? Uh, and uh, we, wanna, we wanted to actually turn that into more of a social platform eventually. Uh, so as time goes on and we get more users and more funding, um, we plan on uh, expanding that platform even further, you know, and turning it into a, a more of a social thing. You know, a social platform almost. Oh, you know, cool. We want to come on there and, you know, uh, exchange in different ways. You know, Zillow has been the same thing, honestly. You yeah, know, yeah. Zillow was down here and now yeah, they've yeah, just yeah. become this huge conglomerate now. You know? That's cool. So, yeah. That's cool. I like yeah. that. So, in terms of your journey here at Deedcoin, how how has your, your journey up to this point been so far? Because, you, you know, you started off, you came through the door, you got your glimmer of hope. How did how did you get dragged out all the way till here? How has that been? <laughs> It's been busy. It's been, it's been really busy. It's been fun. It's been stressful. Uh, it's been educating. Uh, very, very educating. It's been eye-opening. You know, there's a lot about the business that I just was unaware of until you really get that deep. You know, when you're in the water up to here, you yeah. kind of really realize, oh, well, this is real. You know, uh, uh, my journey has been well. It's those things: stressful and educating, and really just yeah, it's it fun. Honestly, there's be, there has been a fun part to it, you know, because it's rewarding to see all this work actually working here. There's all these pieces we got to put together, and then now you have a working product out here. It's really exciting to see something that's actually working. This is real, you know, and that's our work. We did that, you know. It's very rewarding. It's rewarding. Yeah. yeah, it feels good. It's good. Yeah. So as your journey continues, where do you see yourself with Decoin in expansion towards, you know, the outer market and all your investors? Well, not necessarily investors, because I know you guys don't consider yourself to be, you know, necessarily called an ICO and all that, but how do you guys see yourself projecting into the world? Well, I guess I'll circle back around to um, our expansion uh, regarding, like, the MLS and stuff. Right now, what we, we're, um, uh, we're, we're twofold right now. We're, we're, we, have, we have our agents. Uh, who, uh, and we have our customers, right? So our agents, our brokerages, uh, have agreed to um, uh, accept the decoins or you know accept lower commissions for basically hot new leads, you know, in their area that they have exclusive rights to. Um, and uh, yeah, there's the uh, the twofold means of the buyers and the sellers. So you have buyers, uh, which require etc. bitcoins to or uh, decoins to um, you know buy home twenty and then. And then for selling, it's very similar, but it's you know it's a little bit different. It's you got buyers and your sellers. Uh, for me, I think um, uh, we're, we really want we really want to drive towards or we we really want to uh, push towards expanding that network. That's really our, our goal right now. My goal is to really expand that network and actually turn this into a widely used platform. Right now, um, <clears throat> we we have uh, we have coverage we have a lot really really good coverage in the United States 163 locations currently you know but there are some locations in the United States where they brokers could be like four three two hundred miles apart right you know we want to fill in those gaps so that we're able to accommodate anyone in the United States right 
you know, anyone, no matter where you are. It can be, you know, Ho Dunk in North Dakota or whatever, you know, and just click a button and boom, right there. And you'll drop two pins on the map. Here's your decoy brokerage right here. That was easy, wasn't it? That's cool. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, my goal is to keep pushing this forward and actually start um, facilitating um, an end to end solution. You know, uh, from the very beginning, I want a house, uh, and the very end being uh, not just closing at the agent, but actually containing all of this this information like the like the the paperwork and the closing documents and the HUD and all that stuff on the blockchain you know one one end-to-end -end solution is actually what I would love to see uh, in the coming year or two no it's that's really and it's really relevant to what we were talking earlier I was talking with Charles about that because I have a personal experience where um, my family went through that uh, there was a Bank of America had bought out some company I don't remember what it was but basically they never contracted over the paperwork Paperwork was lost, so all these people have homes and there's no paperwork. Nobody knows where anything is. So it's like blockchain technology to me is very, very important, like in the real estate game for that reason. Like blockchain technology, you can literally use it anywhere. And um, I find it really interesting because you guys are trying to create that. And mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's here, it's local, it's available to uh, Americans. And it's, it's, you don't really find a lot of, you know, cryptocurrency stuff going around in America as much as you do in other countries. For example, the Bank of England, um, they now they're building their own like blockchain based system where they can transfer stuff through banks and things like that. Mm -hmm. America falls behind in that aspect. Um, so it's like really exciting seeing where you guys are coming from with all this. Um, and I just I, I love that. I love that about Deedcoin. Yeah. But another question would be, what would you say in, in, in terms of giving hope and and presenting your product to you know people out there kind of like me who's been recently like looking for a home and you know c kind of figuring things out because those percentages are high so I yeah. mean on, on your end from your research how do you you know overcome those hurdles where people might have like skepticism or they don't know about the market kind of thing we get that a lot people are still skeptical. I still actually mentioned to f f f old friends who know this and they know what I'm doing they know what what I what we produce here they're, they're friends of mine and you know they there's some people <laughs> they're still skeptical they're just yeah. like wait a minute wait really really yes yes it's really exactly, i've yeah, been yeah. telling <laughs> you this for months now yes it is but really one percent really yes <laughs> yes you, know, you can literally show up to the buyers or to the closing table and a buyer can get money <laughs> at the closing table for, this we can facilitate this um uh and I know there's there's some people that are just there's some there's a actually there's a lot of people the real estate the real estate industry is, is old it's a very big industry. it's the biggest industry and it's very old uh, and there's always going to be people that are just stuck in their ways you know I'm stuck in my ways in a lot of things that I do you know some people just love to have an analog pencil and paper or pen and paper right. you know um, but I have noticed that the 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 world or the country and the world uh, is moving towards a digital direction. You know, they're right. moving towards a direction that's more digital. You know, we love to keep things on a database and not just a database, but a blockchain. It's like a, it's like a better version of a database almost. Yeah. I feel like, you know, we could take everything that is being done in the real estate industry right now, currently, and put it on a blockchain. It's so much more efficient. It's so much better. People see that and they, they are skeptical. You know, they're just like, oh, I don't trust that. You know, I don't, uh, I don't want to get into that. It's too, it's, it's too it's complicated. Too new. You know, it's, it's too, too new. new. It's too yeah. complicated. Yeah. You know, one of my goals is to make it so that it's easier for them. It's more, it's user, more user friendly. I want to be able to create a platform that allows it to be super easy for the for people that are unfamiliar with the industry, with crypto and, and digital computer or computers. Period. You know, uh, who make it easier for them to get into it and understand it and reap it the benefits. You know, um, I uh, yeah. Yeah, that's ba that's basically it. I know I, I wrote You're some like, some ah. things in the portal. <laughs> it's, like, it's like yeah, I'm thinking back. Oh yeah, that's right. The portal. Uh, it was one of the reasons we actually decided we actually <laughs> ran our last sales phase and we accept credit cards for for payment for crypto. Right. Not only because we're compliant, but we wanted to make it so that people don't even have to go through that whole complicated rigmarole of going through Coinbase and purchasing these and then changing them over right, and right, going right, to right, this right. and then finally being able to do this and then they have right. to know that that's their address and that's their wallet yeah, there's yeah. so much information to take in what if we could just make it so that a customer can just go in there click this button now click this button and then you're done what's your credit card number because you're used to that you've seen that before you know click it's like, oh yeah I'm used to it. now that's familiar now yeah. you know and it makes it more comfortable and we can get people to enter into the crypto market that way you know I guess that's another aspect of it because a lot of people find 
the crypto world complicated because yeah. you do have to go through like let's say you want to trade some bitcoin on binance for something yeah. else you got to go to coinbase or if you want to buy it on like cash app and then pay the mining fees and trade it on your wallet and then get it on the exchange like you know it is a process and a lot of people don't understand that so uh, it is really neat that you guys kind of just have it all built in to one so it, it's it's user friendly it's, it's, it's we, really try. <laughs> we try we try yeah, yeah, and we're and we we want to make it better because in my opinion everything can always be improved now i know uh we have a pretty good saw from from what our review from our reviews from what we've from the feedback back that we've gotten we have a really really good portal and a really good workflow that is able to accommodate this mm -hmm. you know um but again there's always room for improvement right. so that's where my driving force comes from i want to be able to keep getting better and keep rolling out new things that people see that and go okay let me let me uh, explore this over right. here this looks interesting my grandson does this I'm gonna my grandson does this. <laughs> <laughs> i want to get into this now that's so cool you know, i would love to see that you know yeah like um i think matt had told me earlier that you guys had like uh some like older people like getting yes, a decoy in the room <laughs> yeah it's really <laughs> cool it. no because we were at cbs earlier and i was just like i looked at this lady and i was like hey have have you heard of bitcoin the guy's like she's like what i don't even have a computer <laughs> and it's like you know it's like it's like the older generation uh i don't not not that they shouldn't get into this because you know it's yeah. huge it's it's always moving forward you never know when when something could come up and it things move fast Te the truth is technology when it develops it moves faster over the years like it used to be you know especially in this market. yes especially you're right quick in this <laughs> no it's, it's like like look at look at the internet it was it was nothing a couple of years ago now there's a you know you got that itty bitty little slim computer over there and it, it used to that, take that thing would have been a big shoulder right exactly exactly ago, so know? i mean it's, it's it's really cool it's really interesting i mean i love it what you guys do here um you know innovation is always the future and and yeah. i feel like deed coin is just innovating the you know realtor in market industry like that's really cool like you guys are now becoming and eventually like i hope you guys can be like the netflix of the you know the housing market and realtor business because all these older methods like they just need to be disrupted because when when you get too comfortable with one product for example you know you had your cable television everything got expensive you get your rises up everyone just wants yeah. more money monopoly and it just doesn't become a free market anymore yeah. so i think it's really interesting that you guys are bringing something you know so spectacular to the table that's making an impact you know here in america first but also eventually maybe globally yeah, you yeah. know so i mean oh, yeah. it's super exciting i just i just love what you guys have going on here yeah yeah, that's it's um, it's an inevitability. You know, if so, if we w w wouldn't step up to the plate, then someone else would. Right. You know, Uber was an inevitability. It's right. a disruptor. You know what I mean? Uh, that's my stance. That's my view on it. You know, so and those those things are going to keep coming. You know, uh, 2019 is going to be another huge year. You know, 2018 has been a big year so far for you know uh, crypto development and seeing where everything's going watching the markets and see how everything unfolds and things are going to change some more in 2019 et cetera et cetera so on and so forth it's going to be great to to watch and be a part of you know more than anything so yeah usually like, for one day we'll be like you know well, well i hope not we don't destroy the earth and so like we'll be like wally or i don't know if you heard the 100 kind of thing <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like well are you gonna be your 2021 it's like oh like look at this yeah like, we'll be the jetsons <laughs> it'll get there one day you know but <laughs> they are around you know so it's 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 cool. I'm excited to get there, and I'm excited that you're a part of it. I'm really excited because the world too, world yeah. needs people like you. The world Thank needs you. people that accelerate forward, that are, are innovation thinkers, and you know, it's just it just, it just needs to be disrupted. Like, yeah. yeah. So I, I yeah. I'm very 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 happy with what you guys are doing here. Confident with what you're doing, and I do hope you guys the best. And don't worry, when I buy my house, I'll be like, be cool. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, it was a pleasure. pleasure. I love this. You guys, if you have any questions, make sure to reach out on their website. Uh, like you guys heard Charles say earlier, they do have, you know, support at all times. They can easily, they're easily yeah. contactable. And that's one of the major issues with, with you know, these ICOs and other industries who people jump in. Nobody can access them. And I think it's really cool that you guys, you know, you have something set up. You have a working product that's already out there before you even got into this. Yeah. Like that's, 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 you know, you don't see much, you know, tech startups and things like that that have already, boom, we have something, yeah. you know? So it's, it's really cool that you guys, you know, listed as an ICO, but you guys, you know, have more of that tech startup, you know, kicker to it where you already have what you present. You can already, you know, facilitate the public and, you know, it's there. It's there. So you have a trustable, you know, product. So it's, yeah. it's cool. Really happy. <laughs>
Now we do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks right. so much.